the clan celebrated the installation of one of their own, the daughter of the late chief, Joseph Ad Governor. The late governor died early this year and was laid here just few meters from where the coronation took place. According to the customary law of the Khomanin clan, a chief is not elected by the people but appointed. Juliana Gavanas was appointed and introduced to the clan by her father before his death as the one to take over from him. Her appointment was challenged by a concerned group in court and the court ruled in favor of her, hence the coronation. Speaking through an interpreter was Emmanuel Tansip, the deputy chairperson of the Traditional Leaders' Council. Take note that Juliane will not be in an acting anymore position, acting position. From our side, she will be the Gauss of the Komanin clan. The royal family gave her its blessings and handed her over to the community, including those of other Damara clans. The 46-year-old was decorated and equipped with all instruments of chieftaincy and is expected to carry herself as such. From now on, all the eyes are on her leadership and for her to lead her people, and she said she is ready to perform but also admitting that the task ahead will not be an easy one. I told my dad that I'm very, very young to take over this position because I wanted to enjoy the life outside and, you know, I don't want to leave this nation. And that was... Uh, it was a discrepancy between me and my dad. Governors pledged to work in the best interest of her people and address the questions of land, domestic violence, but also appeal to the younger generation to be part of the traditional affairs. She was, however, also quick to point out that she will not tolerate insubordination during her tenure as the queen. The chief of Tomanin's leadership is yet to be approved by the Minister of Regional, Local Government, Housing and Rural Development, Charles Namolo.